Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to use profiles. A profile is a collection of Control My Nikon settings, and these settings can include such things as the shutter and the aperture and all these things here, formats, file saving locations and file naming, live view settings like you would find here under layers. So all these settings here are stored in profiles. Other things like metadata, all these in profiles, and all the settings for the workflows and the triggers are all stored in the profiles. Now whenever you start up Controlman Icon, it loads the most recently used profile. And by default, when you install Controlman Icon, it only has one profile. And that profile is called default. And after a while, you'll start having more and more profiles. And this is a very good thing because so much information is kept in each profile every time you switch workflows from, say, going from portraits to long exposures or HDR, a lot of that information is kept in the profile and now you don't have to enter it again. So let's take a look at how you change profiles. So by default we have the default profile and you can always see what the currently loaded profile is down here on the bottom. So let's say in this profile I wanted a shutter speed of 1 100 and F10. It will save the profile by clicking on save or you can use control S on the keyboard. So we manually saved it but this profile will be saved anytime you connect or disconnect from the camera or when you start up or shut down the program. Okay let's go to flowers large and let's say when I do flowers instead I want to use 150, 6.3, bit of a different ISO and maybe an exposure delay and a different folder name. So if I'm done shooting flowers and I want to go back to the default, I just click on default and there's all the settings I had set earlier. So within flowers, it could be that you have different settings for large flowers or small flowers. So we currently have large flowers loaded. Let's load small flowers. I'll change the path. The file name. and we'll record this in RAW and JPEG and we'll save. Okay, so now when we flip between the two you'll see the changes. So if I go back to flowers large you can see all these things change and back to flowers small. So it saves you a lot of time when you are dealing with many different types of workflows. And you can see here I have some set already And you'll notice when I single click on it, it doesn't change it. You need to double click on it to make the change. So double click and it changes the current profile. To create a new profile, you can either click on new or copy an existing one. So maybe here, if I was back in small flowers and I wanted another profile to deal with very small flowers, I could go copy and type in the new name, tiny flowers. And the settings here might be a little different.
if you click on the new button it basically copies the current one as well so copy a new does basically the same thing except some of the information will not be copied over to delete a profile to select the profile and click on delete you can see what is in a profile by clicking on the print button and it lists all the keys and values of this particular profile. So it shows the name of the profile on the bottom and the information that's being kept. Now sometimes when you load a profile it will do this, it will leave a blank and that means when you attempted to load the profile it could not find the value in the current aperture list to load so it probably saved an aperture that does not currently exist with this lens and body combination. So if I go back here to flowers tiny it shows an f8 but if I go here and it's blank then we just set it to whatever value that you prefer. And that's it. That's how you use profiles in Control My Icon. Happy tethering.